Hello everyone, welcome to A plus PI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations with complex coefficients. We have z plus iw equals 2 plus 4i and iz plus 1 minus i times w equals 1 minus 3i and we're going to be solving for z and w which are complex numbers. And this problem comes from one of my viewers, Gray Jaguar 725 Thank you for the suggestion. So let's go ahead and take a look at this equation. We have, let me rewrite it, z plus iw equals 2 plus 4i, and iz plus 1 minus i times w equals 1 minus 3i. Now, to solve systems, you know we have different methods. We can use substitution, elimination, so on and so forth. And in this video, in this type of situation, we can pretty much do the same thing. So, I'd like to use elimination because elimination is fun. Let's go ahead and get rid of z, which looks a little easier to me. I'm going to go ahead and multiply the top equation by negative i. That's going to give me negative iz, and I do have an iz, which is going to cancel out. So, let's go ahead and write the resulting equations. We get negative iz. And I'm going to multiply negative i by i. Remember, that is negative i squared, and i squared equals negative 1. So negative i squared is going to be positive 1. So we're just going to get w from here. Make sense? And then on the right-hand side, we're going to multiply 2 by negative i. That's going to give us negative 2i. And multiply when multiply by 4i, we're going to get negative 4i squared, and that's going to be positive 4 again. So just remember, i squared is negative 1. Therefore, negative i squared is positive 1, okay? Something to remember. And then this equation is obviously going to stay the same. And let's see where we can go from here. Okay, the second equation is unchanged, the bottom one. Let's go ahead and add these two equations. iz is going to cancel out. And now we have to add the coefficients of w because it's like adding like terms. This is 1w, this is 1 minus iw. So that gives us 1 plus 1 minus i, which is 2 minus i times w. On the left-hand side, make sense? Equals. On the right-hand side, we're going to add the real parts. 1 plus 4 is 5, and then negative 2i and negative 3i makes negative 5i. Great. So from here, can we find w? Of course, by using division. How do you divide? First of all, let's divide both sides by 2 minus i. And then we're going to go ahead and cancel this out. So w is going to equal 5 minus 5i divided by 2 minus i. Remember, if you check the lecture videos, you'll notice to divide two complex numbers, we need to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So it's going to be 2 plus i in this case, remember. And the motivation behind this is when you multiply two conjugates, you get a real number all the time. So when you multiply these two things, you're going to get sum of two squares. The real part squared plus the imaginary part squared. So what are the real and imaginary parts? Two is the real part, and the imaginary part is one or negative one, doesn't matter. And you're going to get five. So the denominator is going to be five, which is nice, because we can go ahead and factor this out. So write that as five times five it should be 1, right? Not 5. 5 times 1 minus i multiplied by 2 plus i. Let's rewrite this. 1 minus i. So I took out the 5 because I know that 5 is going to cancel out. You could also distribute and then try to factor it. It could be a little bit more work. doesn't really matter. No, no big deal. So this is what we end up with. So that's going to give us w after we distribute. Let's go ahead and distribute. 1 times 2 and then 1 times i, and then i times negative 2, or negative i times 2, negative 2i, and finally, again, negative i squared, which is positive 1. We see that a lot, right? So make sure you memorize that. And now we get 2 plus 1, which is 3, minus i as w. So that gives us the value of w. So how do you find z from here, right? Well, you could use substitution easily, right? Let's use the first equation. z plus iw equals, from the first equation, 2 plus 4i. And I know that w is equal to this, so we can go ahead and just plug it in and find z from here. Let's do it. z plus i times 3 minus i equals 2 plus 4i. 
And then if you simplify this again, like before i times three, three i, so many times we're getting the same thing, negative i squared, which is positive one equals two plus four i. So at this point, it's up to you. You can go ahead and subtract one plus three i from both sides. In other words, add negative one minus three i, the opposite, and now you're gonna get z as one plus i. And that's pretty much the value of z, and we already found w, which is three minus i. All right, cool. So that basically solves the system. Now, is there another way to solve the system? Let's go ahead and briefly talk about it. Could we use substitution? Yes, definitely. So one of the things you can do, and that's I'm going to leave it as an exercise for you. Don't hate me for that, please. But you can isolate z from the first equation. That's fairly easy because we don't have to divide by anything. Z can be written as 2 plus 4i minus iw. And then that can be substituted here. And we're going to get an equation in w only because everything else is constants. And then we can just isolate w from there. Of course, there's going to be some factoring, some work to do. Uh, but it's doable, I hope. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.